This is Math 151, and we're going to take just a really quick look at 6.9 uh, hyperbolic functions. I'm not going to go really deeply into what hyperbolic functions are. Um, I just want you to be able to practice doing some derivatives with them. Uh, just a real short thing. We, you know, when we think about trig functions, we, we define them on the unit circle. Uh, hyperbolic functions are a modification of them, but then they're based on ratios that come off of hyperbolas related to the angles. And that's why they're called hyperbolic functions. And sine h, cos h, sometimes cosh, people will pronounce it. Uh, if I wanted to graph sine h, it, this is the equation I could use. e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2. Cosh is this. Tangent, well, tangent sine over cosine. So the 2's cancel out. So uh, tangent look like this. And again, you could like enter those into Desmos or something like to see what those what those look like. Really, all I want you to be able to do uh, is know the derivatives for these and then find derivatives for them. We're not really going to do a lot of application and use for it. You can you can do that when you need them. Um, so let's let's do it for for sine h. So that is. this. So the one half is a constant. The derivative of um, e to the x is e to the x. And then notice it says minus the derivative of e to the negative x is negative, right? Because you bring it down, it's its own derivative. Uh, sorry, it's its own derivative. And then you take the derivative of the negative x, so multiply it by negative one. So that is that. Which if I, if I distribute that negative back into there, notice is cosh. <laughs> so the derivative of sine h is cosh, cos h. And um, I could do, you know, something similar with, uh, with cosine. The one half is a constant. Derivative of e to the x is itself. Derivative of this is itself. And then I take the derivative of that negative x, giving me a negative 1. So notice that's 1 half e to the x minus e to the negative x, which kicks me back to sine. <laughs> so they're each other's derivatives. Um, and if you look at graphs of them both, you, you'll see why they are. Um, now, in the homework, you're going to be asked to do stuff like this. And you know how to do that. Um, you can uh, use a chain rule to find that. And, and I think that I'm going to leave that up to you for your practice to, uh, to get that down. Um, you can do it. If, as you run into questions, post them. Um, I don't usually do this. This lecture is super short, but I do want to reference the, the, the textbook because um, there's two tables in the textbook. This, these are just like screenshots from those tables. But there's two tables in the, in, the, in the textbook. One of them is the derivatives of the hyperbolic functions. So derivative of sine x is cosh, etc. cetera. Uh, and then derivatives of their inverses as well. So the derivative of um, sine h, inverse sine h, is 1 over square root of 1 plus x squared. And, those, you know, they're kind of similar to just the regular trig functions. But really, you can, you can look them up in the book. You can know them from here and here and use this. And you're really just going to be doing some chain rule in the, in the practice. So that's it for the lecture. This may be the shortest lecture you have, will have in this course. Actually, this is the shortest lecture you will have in this course. But... Uh, <laughs> Get that practice in, post questions for me, and uh, again, you can message me or put them in the forum.